Cool. Been a couple weeks since we've talked. Uh, the women up to 21 in the rankings, the men doing well too. Just tell us uh, how you're feeling about the program. Yeah, well, we're getting into the middle of the season, so we had our, our first big meet, and you know, you really don't know quite where you're at until you get out there and race. So we, we had one of those races and got that under our belt to see where where we're at for the start, but uh, had a few more weeks to keep training since then, get back in another big competition coming up this Friday. And um, so far, you know, off to a solid start, but definitely have a lot of uh, a lot of season left to go and, and some growing to do as a team on both sides. So we need to continue to get better. But, uh, yeah, we, we got a little bit of feedback and hopefully get a little bit more positive feedback this weekend. Yeah, this weekend you head to Wisconsin, a big national tournament. Tell us some of the teams that will be there and what you – are looking for going in? Well, the, the main team that we're concerned about being there is Air Force. <laughs> you know, so we'll, we'll get in there and, and try to execute our race plan. Most of the kids on the team on both sides are pretty familiar with the course. We went up there a few times last year, which uh, you know was kind of nice, and hopefully will serve us well uh, going back up there on Friday. But uh, it is a nationally competitive field, and it's a big field. So you know you kind of have to uh, – the first race we have is a little bit smaller and a little bit easier to see your teammates and navigate the course where this one's going to be a little bit bigger. But hopefully that familiarity with – you know, running within our groups and then also familiarity on the course will, will pay off for us. So uh, we'll see. Having seen the course before, is it a different course? Is it hilly? Is it uh, something special about it? Yeah, I think there are a few dynamics of the course that, that play into your uh, your race plan a little bit, uh, just the way the start is. And it does roll a little bit more than the, the first course that we had um, up in Eugene. So uh, I, I do think the course will play into it a little bit. But also the field size will be a, a big factor. And, and we are a pretty experienced group um, uh, on each side. And so I think hopefully our experience just running with a lot of bodies around us and being able to stay calm and poised while you're executing your race plan, hopefully that will help, uh, as well as being able to run over the course a few times last year. I think that will help us as well. Yeah, With a month, pretty much a little bit more than a month left in the season, I guess, are you are you feeling like you don't go out there and run with these, these kids every day, so are you feeling like they're prepared where they need to be at this point? If I was running with them every day, they would not be prepared for where we want them to be at this point. Uh, but, you know, we're we're continuing to put pieces in place. And on our men's side, we had probably the smallest spread we've ever had in, in program history at our first meet, which is a positive. Um, but that group was, was a little bit further back in the field than we needed it to be. And so that's an area we need to work on. So I'd be okay with our spread getting a little bit bigger if that means we have some guys moving up into the competitive fields. Uh, on the women's side, we were without two of our key people, um, you know, at our first meet. So hopefully we have them back in. I think uh, we, we will have the potential for that coming up over the next month, and, and that would hopefully help our team. But uh, things are going to continue to come up, and, and that's not just for our team. That's across the country. And so we manage um, you know, our program as, as best we can, and, and our kids are very good at um, just kind of rolling with whatever comes and, and staying focused on what they need to do to maximize their opportunities. So if we do that on Friday, I think we'll have a positive showing. And if we continue to do that over the rest of the season, I think we'll be pretty good. Coach Cole, good luck in Wisconsin. Thank you. Thank you.